Welcome back, and you join us just in time for this afternoon's ice hockey here in Edinburgh. Murrayfield Racers and Five Flyers have shown astonishing consistency again this season with their sustained challenge for the league championship. And it's congratulations to Racers for winning the title yet again on Friday evening with their win over Dundee. When you think of the thousands of miles the players of all our Scottish clubs have to endure in their visits south, it's a tribute to their fitness and character in the final quarter of the season that racers and flyers can still work their way through to this afternoon's high-scoring Capital Foods Scottish Cup final. We join commentators Dave Lanning and Paul Ferguson in the first period. Racers are in white and are ahead by two goals to one. Harry Woods, cleverly making space, but uh, it looked like Callum's well, he's on his knees, but Murrayfield still have possession. <laughs> oh. Oh. It was a backflip, a really scrappy goal. Snell was involved there, but the final touch, we'll have to look at that one again. Well, Dave, I was just about to say that the defensive setup here was at sixes and sevens that backhand shot look at all the flyers on the right hand side lovely goal hideously miss hit pass Tony Ham was picked to it Caught a mile offside. Paul, I think it's fair to say that the stars of the Flyers, whose imports, Perlini and uh, Moria, have only been in the game in little short bursts, really. They have had a quiet start, and uh, really, they got to come into the game because a lot of the younger players are looking to them. And of course, they, they score a majority of the goals for the team, so they, they really have to get back into the, or, or get into the game in the first instance. Well, there they are. And they have been a marvellous success for the Flyers. And there is Murray Hansen with the pressure on him now on his goal. Scott Neal and uh, Murray up. And here is Perlini. And back of goal to weigh up the options. Ah! Murray wondered when he strike. Well, Perlini makes it 3-2. He's allowed to come out. There should be a defenseman right on that post. But look, there's no one in there. Kellen has got the guy out front, and he walks out. A bit unfortunate for Hansen. It bounces off his pad, but that's a goal. 3-2. That was a good example of the hand being used, but then uh, lost the puck. Neil Abel. Ali Woods getting in a tangle there. Kellens, snapshot on target. Well saved. All right, but, oh, wow, that's got to be a penalty. Moria was hooked down surely by Kellens. And, and there's no whistle. Mike Holmes came around the back. And uh, Fife are not going to be at all happy about that one. No. I disagree with that call. I saw the referee wave it off. That should have been a hooking penalty on Moria. Holmes eventually gets hold of this puck from behind the net. And again, he's allowed to walk out front. There's no one there at all. And he just bangs it in there. Robust interplay. At the start of this second period, now Chris Kellen to settle things down. Kellen sweeping through, dumping in, the race is on there. Oh, oh wow! What a gift! An absolute gift there, right at the start. I think it was Mike Holmes that got the final touch ball. Well, less than 40 seconds gone in this period. Holmes was left with the puck in front of the net. The puck was dumped all the way around behind the net. The rebound comes out. 
There's no one there to pick it up, and Holmes comes in and backhands the shot that trickles between the pads. Well, you have to question the defense work there of the Flyers because uh, Mike Holmes, well, I think even he was surprised how much time and space he had. Five to the score, and uh, the Fife crowd who, during the break, had been talking uh, fairly anguishedly, and there is the organ player here. We wonder what happened to Reginald Dixon. Field again, four checks there by Woods. Wood uh, again, an interception there by Paul Hand. Didn't he do well? The interception, and he took his goal as coolly as you would like to see. And Murrayfield erupts. Well, this is a nice interception by Hand. He anticipated the pass, grabbed it at center ice, and he comes in. Look at this first shot. He picks the top corner nicely. Handsome, but uh, he should have tried to pick a corner. There's Steve Moriart. He has been a most uh, influential player this season for the Five Flyers. He seems to have just gone in little uh, bursts and fits and starts in this game. Scored the first goal for the Flyers, but it seems to have been an awfully long time since Fife uh, found the net here now. They've had a long period in decline, and it's all Murrayfield. Oh, it had to be. Such a simple goal, and once again, Mike Snell. What's that, his third goal, and it was made so easy for him. Well, a defensive error by Ali Wood there, chasing the uh, attacker now, set this one up right across the goal mouth, and Snell is there to bang it home. Siege at the moment. Played all the way around by Al Sims, and uh, the Flyers can do with his experience now. Being brought to bear. Out they come. Perlini finding Moria. Two imports combining beautifully. That really was a super goal. Perlini and Mariah combining, and it shot him. Well, this was very, very pretty indeed. The backhand pass coming out. Moria right in front, tipped it into the far corner, and the goalie is beaten nicely. Well, well the organ stopped playing, but the fans haven't stopped singing. <laughs> right out here, Moria just unable to maintain contact in the way. Will come Coombe. Coombe there looking to find Mike Snell. Snell, prolific goal scorer today. Right, will come the Flyers. Oh, that was one right out of the foot. Ronnie Wood. Well, a good solo effort. Wood uses his defenseman as a screen, but I think Maury Hansen should have had that one. And Ronnie Wood gives the Flyers hope. Seven for the score. Eight and a half minutes remaining in this second period. Still not all over, and Murrayfield, who seemed to be cruising, again, Kellen fights off, shrugs off the challenges. Now, look at the turn there by Sims, Moria, Moria finding Perlini, off the pads. Kellen picking it up, the break is on here, and it's Snell. This 
is an incredible pass right onto the stick of Mike Snell. The goalie should have been out a bit further. That's number four for him. Again, a fine interception by Paul Hands. But then he was right for his. Moria smack against the goaltender. Right. Oh! What a crushing shot. Oh, Sims back at the blue line. No. Paul, it looks as though he might even knock the goal off its hinges. Well, with just three seconds remaining in the period here, a blistering slap shot from Sims. That's deflected in, or is it in the side of the net? It missed the goal and, and, and bounced back into the net. So Moria thought it was in, and it's on the side of the net. Well, it was going so quickly that it really needed our slow motion camera to actually uh, show exactly what happened there. That old puck does travel by the foot there. Well, there is the end of the second period. 8-4, Murrayfield have dominated. We're going to take a break, but we'll be right back. Welcome back to the Scottish Cup final. Murrayfield Racers, as you saw, lead 8-4. We're in the final period, but Flyers have a chance to close the gap with Chris Kelland off the ice with a two-minute penalty. Well, this could be Fife's opportunity. Kelland is the playmaker. He is so influential in this side, and uh, without him, the Racers may well find their backs acquainted to the wall. Jim Lynch. Lynch has made himself some space. Right in front of goal here. And Lynch is dispossessed. Back as far as Al Sims. As the Five Flyers fan out. Sims goes alone. And positively crashes the pocket. The defence seemed to open as the five attackers moved into position, Paul, and Sim saw his chance, and that's a three-goal deficit, and that is attainable. That's it. He's all alone here, but he's got two men to beat. A lovely shot. Gets Hansen off guard, and that's in the back of the net. Another goal here for the five side. We would set things afire for the last six minutes or so of this period. Must have heard us. It was Perlini and Pfeiffer right back in there. Well, it's that first line again, doing all the damage. Perlini getting this back just inside the blue line, the shot. Moria got a tip. We'll see if he gets the final touch. Desperate rear guard action by Murray Field. Content to play it anywhere, of course. There's no icing call as they have a man in the penalty box. Swift changeover. Out comes Sims. Sims flicking it on here for Perlini. Lynch is available if he can find him. So flick it back here. Sims. Sims making some space. And Sims reflected. Tony Hands going it alone. Oh, what a pass. A superb pass, and Mike Snell finished it off. And that was a move that was radical. Well, this is a shorthanded goal, and what a time to do it. pass by Tony Hans. He takes Sims with him, takes the other defenseman. Snell sneaks in on the far side and puts it right under the goaltender. So here's the drop. It's all a bit scrappy, but they'll play it anywhere. And there goes the final hooter. And it's Murrayfield Racers triumphant with Mike Snell, a five-goal hero. And the Racers have more silverware for their sideboard here in Edinburgh. And already the champagne is 
cascading.